20 ESL teaching methodologies, explained examples, pros and cons. An ESL teaching methodology is a systematic approach or set of strategies and techniques used by educators to teach English to non-native speakers. These methodologies are designed to help teachers plan and deliver effective English language lessons, foster language acquisition and facilitate language proficiency development. ESL teaching methodologies can vary widely in their focus, techniques and underlying principles. But they all aim to support students in acquiring and using English for communication and comprehension. So here are 20 ESL teaching methodologies. I will give a quick explanation of 20 most common ESL methodologies with examples pros and cons. Let me know which teaching methodology you mainly prefer in the comments down below. The direct method is an immersive teaching approach that prioritizes the development of speaking and listening skills while minimizing reliance on translation. In this method, teachers create an environment where students are exposed to the target language as much as possible. Through this constant exposure, learners are encouraged to think and communicate directly in the language they are studying, rather than relying on their native language as a crutch. This approach aims to replicate the way children acquire their first language, emphasizing contextual understanding and meaningful communication. Use pictures and gestures to teach vocabulary instead of translating words. The pros, focuses on real life communication skills, encourages active participation, enhances fluency. Cons, limited support for grammar and writing, challenging for beginners. The grammar translation method, a traditional pedagogical approach places a heavy emphasis on the explicit teaching of grammar rules and the translation of text between the target language and the native language. In this method, learners often engage in activities such as translating sentences and passages, dissecting grammatical structures, and memorizing vocabulary lists. The primary goal is to facilitate the understanding of the structural aspects of the language, enabling students to read and comprehend text in the target language. However, this approach tends to neglect oral communication skills and real life language use. Translate sentences from English to the native language or vice versa. Pros, strong foundation in grammar, suitable for literary texts, easy for beginners. Cons, limited speaking and listening practice, lacks real life communication skills and can be tiring. Communicative language teaching, CLT. The communicative language teaching approach prioritizes the development of meaningful communication skills in the target language. It encourages students to actively use the language for authentic purposes, such as discussing real life situations, problem solving and exchanging information. CLT shifts the focus from rote memorization and isolated grammar drills to practical language use in various contexts. This approach fosters student engagement and encourages learners to develop fluency and competence by using the language to interact and express themselves effectively. Role play situations where students book a hotel room or order food at a restaurant. Pros, it promotes fluency, emphasizes real life communication, encourages student engagement. Cons, may neglect grammar instruction, challenging for shy students and may require more preparation time. Task-based language teaching, TBLT, centers around the idea of using language as a tool for accomplishing specific tasks or projects. In this approach, students engage in real-world, goal-oriented activities that require them to communicate and problem-solve in the target language. These tasks could range from planning a trip or conducting surveys to participating in debates or group discussions. TBLT encourages learners to apply their language skills in practical situations, promoting not only linguistic proficiency, but also critical thinking and collaboration. Have students plan a trip using English for research and presentation. Pros, promotes practical language use, engages students in problem solving, encourages collaboration. Cons can be time consuming, limited focus on grammar, may not suit all language goals. The total physical response method incorporates physical actions 
and commands as a means of language instruction. Developed by Dr. James Asher, TPR is particularly effective for beginners and young learners. In TPR lessons, instructors issue commands and instructions in the target language and students respond by physically carrying out the corresponding actions. This kinesthetic approach aims to enhance comprehension, reinforce vocabulary, and build associations between words and actions, making language learning more engaging and memorable for learners. Instruct students to stand up, sit down, or touch objects while using English commands. Pros, ideal for kinesthetic learners, enhances comprehension, suitable for beginners. Cons, limited focus on speaking, may not suit all learning styles, less effective for complex language skills. The silent way is an innovative approach that emphasizes learner autonomy and discovery. In this method, teachers limit their verbal input and instead use visual aids and cues to guide students in discovering language patterns and rules on their own. It encourages active problem solving and critical thinking skills, promoting a deep understanding of the language. Use colored rods or charts to demonstrate language patterns. Pros, encourages critical thinking, fosters self-discovery, builds problem solving skills. Cons, requires specialized materials, can be challenging for some students, a teacher must be highly skilled. Suggestopedia, developed by Dr. Georgi Lazanov, employs relaxation techniques and positive suggestions to create a comfortable and stress-free learning environment. Music and a pleasant atmosphere are integral components of this method. Suggestopedia aims to maximize learners' receptivity to new information and facilitate rapid language acquisition through immersion and relaxation. Play soft background music during lessons and create a relaxed, pleasant atmosphere. Pros, reduces anxiety, encourages creative thinking, enhances retention. Cons, may not suit all students, requires a specific classroom setup, not applicable in all settings. Content-based instruction, CBI, integrates language learning with the study of subject matter content, such as science or history. In CBI lessons, students learn language in context while exploring academic subjects. This approach prepares learners for academic language and helps them acquire language skills naturally within a meaningful context. Teach English through science experiments or historical discussions. Pros, promotes language acquisition in context, encourages critical thinking, prepares students for academic language. Cons, challenging for beginners, may require specialized knowledge, may neglect specific language skills. Storytelling is a dynamic method that uses narrative to engage learners. Teachers use stories, whether traditional tales, literature, or student-created narratives to captivate students' interest and foster language acquisition. Storytelling enhances listening and speaking skills while encouraging creativity and imagination. Read and discuss English language stories or have students create their own stories. Pros, captivates students' interest, enhances listening and speaking, encourages creativity. Cons, limited focus on grammar, may not suit all age groups, may require a wide range of materials. The audiolingual method focuses on the development of oral skills through repetition and audio cues. This method relies heavily on drills and repetition exercises to reinforce vocabulary and pronunciation. It is particularly suited for building automaticity in speaking and listening. Use drills and repetition exercises to reinforce vocabulary and pronunciation. Pros focuses on pronunciation and listening, suitable for beginners and builds automaticity. Cons, limited focus on meaningful communication, can be repetitive and dull, neglects grammar and writing skills. The natural approach encourages learners to acquire language naturally through immersion and contextual understanding. Students engage in meaningful communication and the focus is on comprehension and fluency rather than explicit grammar instruction. This approach mirrors the way individuals learn their native language as children. Engage students in conversations and activities that mimic 
real life situations. Pros, emphasizes meaningful communication, fosters language acquisition naturally, builds confidence. Cons, may not suit all learners, limited focus on formal grammar, may require more time. The lexical approach emphasizes vocabulary and phrase learning over strict grammar rules. In this method, students learn common word combinations, idiomatic expressions, and collocations to enhance fluency and communicate effectively in real-life situations. It is especially beneficial for intermediate to advanced learners. Teach students common word combinations and idiomatic expressions. Pros. Enhances fluency, emphasizes real-life communication, suitable for intermediate to advanced learners. Cons. Limited focus on grammar. May not suit beginners, may not prepare students for academic language. Cooperative learning encourages students to work together in groups or pairs to achieve language goals. By engaging in collaborative activities and discussions, students not only improve their language skills, but also develop teamwork and communication abilities. This method fosters peer support and active participation. Assign group projects that require collaboration and discussion in English. Pros. Fosters teamwork and communication. Encourages peer support. Engages students actively. Cons. May not suit all learners. Requires classroom management skills. May lead to uneven participation. The silent period is a phase in language acquisition during which beginners observe and absorb the language before actively participating in speaking. This method allows students to build confidence gradually, reducing anxiety for novice learners. Give beginners time to listen and observe before requiring spoken responses. Pros. Reduces anxiety for beginners. Allows for natural language acquisition. Builds confidence gradually. Cons. May hinder speaking progress. Requires patience from teachers and peers. Limited for advanced learners. The zone of proximal development. CPD. The CPD method tailors instruction to individual learners' abilities by focusing on tasks and materials that are slightly above their current proficiency level. This approach challenges students without overwhelming them, promoting growth and progress. Provide tasks and materials that are slightly above the student's current proficiency level. Pros. Tailors instructions to individual needs. Promotes growth and progress. Encourages a balanced approach. Cons. Requires careful assessment. May be challenging to implement in large classes. May require extra preparation time. The grammar in context approach teaches grammar within the context of real life situations and texts. Learners analyze authentic materials such as newspaper articles or literature to identify and understand grammar rules in practical use. This method enhances grammar comprehension and encourages critical thinking. Analyze newspaper articles or short stories to identify grammar rules in context. Prose enhances grammar comprehension, teaches grammar in practical use, fosters critical thinking. Cons may neglect explicit grammar instruction, requires suitable materials, challenging for beginners. The reflective approach encourages students to reflect on their learning process, set goals, and track their language learning progress. Learners keep journals and engage in self-assessment, fostering self-awareness and metacognition. Have students keep journals to track their language learning progress. Pros, fosters self-awareness and responsibility encourages goal setting, enhances metacognition. Cons may require additional time and effort, may not suit all students, requires teacher guidance. The eclectic approach combines various teaching methods and techniques to cater to the, the diverse needs of learners. Educators use a mix of methodologies, selecting the most appropriate ones for specific learning goals and contexts. Use a mix of methodologies depending on the learning goals and characteristics characteristics of the class. Pros. Customizes instruction to individual needs, adapts to different learning styles, provides a flexible approach. Cons. May require in-depth teacher expertise, may lack consistency, requires careful planning. The flipped classroom model involves students learning content at home through multimedia resources, freeing up class time for interactive activities, discussions, and problem solving. Assign video lessons for homework and use class time for interactive activities 
and discussions. Pros, maximizes class time for interaction, encourages active learning, enhances comprehension through pre-learning. Cons, requires access to technology, may not suit all subjects or topics, may require a shift in teaching style. The critical pedagogy approach integrates language teaching with discussions of societal issues and social justice. Learners engage in meaningful conversations about topics such as inequality, discrimination and environmental concerns within the context of language instruction. This approach promotes critical thinking and social awareness through language learning. Discuss topics such as inequality, discrimination or environmental issues in English class. Pros engages students in meaningful discussions, promotes critical thinking, encourages social awareness. Cons may require sensitive handling of topics, may not suit all learners, can be emotionally challenging.